listening to the sound of your breath is what puts you in the yogic state of mind, the state of oneness, the state where you become aware of you as a holistic presence. This is Nada Yoga, an advanced state in yoga, when listening to internal sounds beginning with the breath opens up more dimensions for the mind to dwell in, thus keeping you absorbed and in deep meditation. Namaste. Hello and welcome to Ayer Integrated Yoga Exercise Routine Class 84. Namaste. My name is Sundar Ayer and thank you for taking this class. Let's begin this session right away. We have a lot of exercises and poses to complete. So let's begin with the Vajrasana. Take a deep breath. As you breathe out, stretch your hands by the side, interlock your fingers, pause for a second, breathe in. As you breathe out, turn your palm upwards, drop your head back and get ready for the stretch. Now, three rounds of deep breathing, breathe in, expand your chest, breathe out, stretch your spine. Breathe in, expand your chest, breathe out. Lengthen your exhalation, lengthen your spine. One more time, breathe in. And now, as you breathe out, stretch your hands by the side and come down slowly. Excellent. Let's do the twist. We begin from the left side. Breathe in. As you breathe out, twist to the left side. One exhalation and you go all the way out. Now, hold it there. Breathe in and out once. And then when you're done, you breathe in. As you breathe out, come back to the center. The other side, breathe in. As you breathe out, twist. Breathe in and out once. Then you breathe in. And as you breathe out, come back to the center. All right, let's get go on all fours and do the tiger pose. I'm going to skip the pranam asana for a few classes for now in order to save time. So breathe in. As you breathe out, come on all fours. Let's begin with the tiger pose. Breathe in. As you breathe out, left leg back, toes pointed out. Look up straight, tall. Stay tall. Don't do this. Breathe in and out. Then you breathe in. As you breathe out, raise the right hand up, fingers pointed out. Breathe in and out. Focus on your breath now. Breathe in. Breathe out. Long. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, come back on all fours. Breathe in. As you breathe out, take the right leg back. Toes pointed out. Look up straight. Once again. Tall. Breathe in. As you breathe out, raise the left hand up, fingers pointed out, stretch on either direction. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time, breathe in. As you breathe out, come back on all fours. The, the upward dog, get the bricks. Get your shoulders perpendicular to the floor. Breathe in. As you breathe out, draw your waist, your hips closer to your wrists. Keep your feet together, heels together if you can. And lengthen. Go up. Let your shoulders, your neck should not go in between. Raise it above. Above your shoulders. Head above the shoulders. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time, breathe in. Okay, as you breathe out, come back on your knees. Let's put this aside. The downward dog, this time take your palms out in front. 
get your knees apart, turn your toes in, remember you are like this, bring it in, breathe in, as you breathe out, the downward dog, raise your butt up to the sky, to the ceiling, and drive your chest to the heels, relax your neck, now once you are in this position, straighten your legs, straighten the knees, feel the stretch in your calf muscles, maybe a little bit in your hamstrings, your neck is all the way down, you are driving your chest towards your heels, neck is relaxed, breathe in and out, okay breathe in, as you breathe out slowly, let us go down to the cobra pose, so come all the way down, breathe in, feet together, heels together, as you breathe out, gently raise yourself up here, excellent. Remember your navel to be, should be touching the floor, heels together, your elbows close to the body, hold it there, keep your eyebrows down, face calm, eyes closed. You want your eyes closed in this exercise simply so you can focus mentally on your spine at the back. Okay, breathe in, as you breathe out, gently come down. Excellent, hands into a fist. Is it below your thighs, the locust, <clears throat> chin gently placed on the floor, let us do one leg at a time, breathe in, as you breathe out, raise the right leg up, toes pointed out, keep your knees straight, do not bend your knees, breathe in and out once, breathe out, all right, bring it down. The left leg, breathe in, as you breathe out, raise the left leg up, again toes pointed out, knees straight, breathe in and out, all right, breathe in, as you breathe out slowly, get your feet down, okay, now the big one, I'm going to raise both the legs up, so take in a deep breath, and as you breathe out, up you go, again, toes pointed out, knee straight, the height is not important, keeping your feet straight is pressure on the lower back, keep breathing in and out, if I can talk, you can breathe, breathe in, breathe out, all right, breathe in, as you breathe out, bring both the legs down, Slowly get your hands out, bring it out in front, relax for a second or two, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, the flip boat, Urdhva Navasana, get your hands stretch it out in the front, make it into a palm, breathe in, as you breathe out, up, raise your feet and stretch, you see this, I am not doing this, I am stretching out in either direction and I am trying to gain a height, breathe in and out, one more time, breathe in, as you breathe out, gently relax, excellent, breathe in, as you breathe out, come up, on all fours. Let us begin a pigeon, a pigeon exercise, breathe in, as you breathe out, left knee forward, breathe in, as you breathe out, push yourself back, breathe in, as you breathe out, lean forward all the way, excellent. We are going to twist to the left side, since our left knee is in the front, so breathe in, as you breathe out, get your right elbow forward and twist to the left side, try and straighten your back, remove the hunch, if there is one, straighten it and twist, as always with every exhalation you are going to twist, wonderful, breathe in, as you breathe out, come up gently, okay, now sit on the floor, we just learned this, grab 
take hold of your ankle breathe in as you breathe out come up you're balancing this this is what helps you balance see this this is what helps you balance as we progress in different levels we learn how to balance but for now i want you to feel the stretch in the thigh we're going to work on all these muscles remember level 1 in yoga is strengthening laying foundations breathe in and out breathe out all right relax as you breathe out okay i'm going to finish the spinal twist on this side and then we do the kapotasana on the other side so since we already here get the knee across the right knee hug the right knee sit up tall and straight and breathe in as you breathe out twist see every time you breathe out you want to twist every time you breathe out you want to twist and then once you reach a point of maximum twist hold it there you feel the stretch in your butt in your lower back and you're twisting you're stretching it and twisting the spine that's why this is mentioned almost in every yoga scripture all right breathe in as you breathe out come out of this pose stretch it back go back on all fours excellent let's do the pigeon pose on the other side breathe in as you breathe out get your right knee forward breathe in as you breathe out push yourself up and straight drop your neck back hold this pose for a few seconds breathe in all right as you breathe out lean forward lean forward okay the twist breathe in as you breathe out get your left elbow in front of the knee breathe in and as you breathe out twist try and get rid of the hunch so you want to twist see the hunch here get it and then twist you may not twist much but that's a more effective twist than trying to do this this is a twist okay breathe in as you breathe out get off the pose let's do the advanced the next level rather of the pigeon pose you're going to sit on the floor hold on to the ankle you breathe in as you breathe out come up and stretch try and get the ankle lower the heels lower till it touches your butt if you can if you cannot that's fine if you are here that's fine too we're going to slowly start stretching the thighs the stretch is the thigh breathe in and out okay breathe out stretch out your leg once again sit on the floor let's complete this with a spinal twist breathe in as you breathe out get your left knee left foot across the right knee sit up tall and straight breathe in as you breathe out hug your left knee with your right hand breathe in again sit up tall sit up tall as you breathe out twist twist again the hunch in the back get rid of the hunch in the back in most of the yoga exercises your spinal length is the same the length of your spine should not be compromised try your best try your best to keep your spine in its natural length okay breathe out come off the pose wonderful let's revise what we learned last time the boat pose or the navasana okay navasana or the boat pose we did this this is how we learned last time we real quick stay where you are i just want to show you you were here we did one we did two okay this is how we did this i'm going to show you a small variation to this if you haven't ever done core exercises then that is probably you're putting too much pressure so i'll show you a way to cheat i'm just going to place this this bolster not too close a little away so my my thoracic part of the spine right behind the chest i'm literally here now i'm going to lean on this and work okay so that removes the pressure of my lower back okay let's do it together i'm simply going to lean on the bolster if you don't have a bolster then use this but by now at least you should have had a bolster breathe in as you breathe out 6 inches above the ground raise your legs up toes pointed out 
hands by the side. Hands should be relaxed. There's no point straining all this part. Don't do this. Relax. Face is calm. The only part under stress is this. If you touch here, you feel this is all tight. Okay, if you're off this, it gets even more tighter. But for now, let's lean on this. Let's not rush into it. Back is protected. Breathe out, come down. This time I'm going to raise it up 45 degrees. Breathe in. My toes are still pointed out. As you breathe out, up. Every time you breathe out, it's Ujjayi Pranayama. Now you're in this pose. What do you do? Ujjayi. One more round. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, breathe in. As you breathe out, come down. Wonderful. Sit up straight. Get this bolster to your lower back. Let's ease the back. Breathe in. As you breathe out, we have done this. Now this time your toes should be up, not pointed out like that. Okay, get your toes in. Okay, feet together. As you breathe out. This simply works on your lower back, opens up your lungs. So any faulty breathing is corrected now. Learn to exhale, as always. Focus on exhalation. All right, breathe in. Slowly, as you breathe out, slowly, as always. I keep saying slowly. See how I come up? Press your palms on the floor. Come up with support. Come up with support. Wonderful. This is how, when you flow from one pose to the other, and you focus on breathing while in the pose, yoga itself becomes a meditation session. And then when you sit, you're ready to go into the world of breathing, the world of listening to the inner sounds. This time, the sound of your breath. So let's begin. Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A little more slowly this time. Breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, listen to the sound of your breath, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one last time, breathe in, steady, smooth, three, Four, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Gently enjoy this inner peace, the inner rhythms, the inner harmony between the body, the breath, and the mind. Take a deep breath. As you breathe out, slowly open your eyes.
Before we meet again, my dear friends, have a blessed time. Be well, be willing, and be wise. For now, let's listen to the wise words of Ratanjit. Thank you. Namaste. The power in me bows to the power in you, unifying us into oneness. What we say reflects our state of being when we are contaminated by insecurities, ego, and fear, or spoken words lack clarity and impact. The true depth, meaning, and power of our words comes through only when we are integrated in oneness and thus free of all contaminants. May the power within you enrich and empower your day.